to go on YouTube. So today I'm exploring the Martinez shoreline. And uh, this place is, is interesting. It has a lot of uh, unique uh, historical points to it. Uh, for instance, this section right here, which uh, is called Granger's Wharf, uh, used to be a, a fishing community back in the 1840s. Um, yeah, they set up a small town uh, around the banks of around the banks of the Alhambra Creek, and the city of Martinez actually uh, leased the land uh, to them for about a dollar a year, which is a pretty good deal so yeah uh, I'm gonna be taking a look at this place and I'm gonna take you along uh, with me so you uh, uh, get a little brief brief introduction to the history of this place all right let's get going during the 1870s some of the first settlers in this area were Italian immigrants. They were mostly fishermen. Fishing was one of the major industries of the Bay Area at the time, and Martinez owned two of the larger fisheries. We're arriving at the uh, Arch Bridge, and uh, this is a pretty unique feature here at the Martinez shoreline. It's actually um, it's made out of wood, and uh, it was actually shipped over here from Seattle, I believe. And the design of the bridge was to allow um, the last remaining fishing boats to be able to pass underneath it. Built in 1979, the Arch Bridge crosses over Alhambra Creek. Despite the arch design, the creek still had to be dredged regularly for the boats to be able to pass underneath and to make it out to the bay. So now we're gonna go check out the uh, schooner Forester, and that is uh, it's gonna be a wreckage, unfortunately, because uh, it's it's very old and it got burned. But yeah, it used to be the fastest ship in America back in the early 1900s. It set the world record uh, from sailing in between Australia and San Francisco in 75 days, uh, which is pretty quick. So yeah, we're gonna go check that out right now. The 250-foot Forester set sail in 1900. It would transport North American lumber to China, India, and Australia. In 1935, its only captain, Otto Derwitz, ran the ship aground. The boat remained intact until 1975, when a fire burnt it down to the waterline. longest running uh, ferry service in the San Francisco Bay Area. So yeah, let's go check that out. The ferry service here ran from 1847 until 1962. It was called the gateway to the gold fields during the gold rush. Miners, travelers, and wagons waited in the hundreds to cross the strait every day. In 1962, the Venetia Bridge opened up for service, making the route obsolete, and thus, it was discontinued. All right, so this is the Martinez Shoreline Fishing Pier. Uh, it's fallen on some hard times um, due to the weather. Uh, a lot of storms we've had in recent months have really damaged it. Uh, parts of it have been closed off. I think this part's actually closed off too, uh, but somebody took down the railings, so I'm over here. Anyway, uh, this place has some nice views, especially at night. Um, you get this height, the highlights uh, from Venetia come across the bay really good. All right, so hopefully you've enjoyed that uh, quick look at the Martinez shoreline. Uh, has a good bit of history to it. Um, if you like this kind of content, uh, give the video a like. Uh, and consider subscribing if you want to see more. Alright, I'll catch you in the next one.